Hey babies and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shirley Mimi where you gather gist. Aside hearts guys. The social chats you know for the week came out and is trending and is staring brows. Yes, because hmm your faves top and guess who is topping like it is no new news yes onye kachibo at number three yeah followed by the winner of the season kinsley sule kelly ray followed by wani at number five kasi at number six you know this where the housemate the only housemates we have in the top 10 trend social charts onye ka number three kinsley then we have wani and kasia that's all just four of them are the people tre- that actually appear at the top 10. Meanwhile, um, the Onyeka fans have been trending her. She topped other housemates. Yes, she did. Of course, she's on number three. Number one and two is not, not housemates, um, not Biggie's housemates, you know. So, Onyeka topped other of the housemates. And I think it is norms because she's one person that is the most talk about the season. Even while she was in the house, if you remember vividly, whenever the social chart is out and I share here, when I don't get to see her top, because most times I don't get to see her top, I'll be like, Onyeka should be at number one, you know. That's, I always say that because guys, you get why and we all know why. Of course, the ultimate Spice Girl of the season. Why not if not? Okay, and that's NG says, Onyeka tops the list of BB Niger housemates of the 10 most talked about people in Africa for last week. Kelly Ray, Wani and Cassia features as well in that other congratulations. So it's trending and their fans are hyping her saying that the ultimate Spice Girl she trended in the house. She carried it the show in the house and outside of the house. She's still carrying it with her full chest. Onye Kachibo trending on number three as the most talk about in the whole Africa social chat. Onyeka, the mother that murdered their collective mothers. Hmm, interesting. It can only be Onyeka up there even after the house. Onyeka, our ultimate fave follow onyeka on socials so the onyeka fans the only stars are just training onyeka left right and center of course she deserves okay big daniel media says let it be known that post show onyeka still has no alliance the engagement on her post are authentically only stars and they still drag and brag like empty buckets and leftover dust they have always been marketable onyeka chibo wahala be like bicycle all right talking about trend and everything um we know that the double k has been trending back to back ever since the voting poll results came out and then seeing how well kelly ray did on those pools back to back there was so much noise in, on the social space with the kelly ray fan base oh, and other fan base they actually had to remove cap you know when they say i caught cap for this person that was what they did for kelly ray like they said omo you are the odogu of the season no cap um this person says good morning k squad another beautiful day to hype our faves cassia is kelly ray biggest fan i love it kelly ray and cassia you both are blessed and highly favored their fans could not stop chanting their praises i'm talking about cassia being kelly ray's biggest fan or more most of cassia's video you would see her vibing to kelly ray's music no cap so i accept that mercy of k star says ordinary caption and comment on other cry cassia tweet your tweet caption your caption reply your reply comment your comment and laugh your laugh k squad Day your back, we gallant. You and your husband are the real clear winner and first run up. Why did this person say this? It's because they were dragging Cassia. In the midst of all of the brohaha going on with the result being released, Cassia posted and says she is the mother that murdered their mother. We have seen people post things like this. It actually slide. So why is it a big deal for Cassia? They started coming for her that this one is showing herself and everything. If she no show herself, who will? someone that god they god just blessed them and just made people you know love them and then they became the winner and you say make sure no booger hello are you okay please allow my baby to actually booger beg you know easy she had to carry her shoulders hi okay see on the trend wani got 32.48 percent others got 31.57 percent and they are dragging wani you know still they're still just and drags on wani so the fans are like if you check the difference in votes you should not even open mouth to drag wani on this one because she got single-handedly got what other people shared you know or after her after the winner and then her 
the other ones that is ranging from Onyeka to the very least person, which is Suj, they all share 31%. It's still not up to what she got single-handedly. That if you want to drag anybody, it shouldn't be Wani. Honestly speaking, I think this did make sense because no cap, she should not even be dragged because of Omo, she was close to winning too. Um, okay, Abigail says Nelly BBL fans celebrating with Top Victoria, Onye Cow fans celebrating with Top Victoria, Anita Giraffe fans celebrating with Top Victoria, Chizoba with 0% fans celebrating <laughs> our sister Top Victoria, Omo, they only came to the show to Top Vicky not winning. And truly, truly, Omo, the way Victoria was trending after that um, result came out, Ichoko. And I think the reason behind that is because many people thought she had high fan base than, um, Onyeka, that is why it's so surprising and people were talking about her so much, you know, because even the fans were expecting that, oh, last, last Victoria would actually be top three, you know, only for us to see that Omo, it is not what it is. So talking about Chizoba, they started sharing an old video during the, when the show was still on, where Chizoba said something about Victoria, you know, be the weak link and maybe Cassie and Kelderia might be strongest link in the house, you know. Then people started sharing the old video and then there's drags on Chizoba here again. People are saying no matter what she said, the cocoa of the matter is Chizoba left the house before Victoria. That's the reactions you're seeing here. Victoria's name's everywhere. Ha! Una never tire. Is she the only housemate to be compared with? Um, this one says she was the actual weakling and left home with 3% then. Victoria sent her the F home. What is this that all about? You know, there's just drama going on, guys. Drama, drama, drama. And I think he said this resort thingy is going to trend for a long while. Sorry to say, but it will. Okay, Lively says... No male housemate tweets since that poor resort. <laughs> Kelly Ray, <laughs> Kelly Ray bully everybody. So this person says, Oh, more Kelly Ray just shut everybody up like nobody greets tweets again. Mercy of Kesa says, Nelly or Nelita five audio fans day. Okay, I'm gonna skip all of that. When I vote for Kelly Ray as how as per waiting, what happened to your Wanelita six months? Or go one slap on her. I beg, be mindful and keep fighting with your fellow bottomites. No carry your madness. Reach here. Make I know papa 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 on her with my bazooka and AK-47. Where is all of this coming from? Ever since that result came out, everybody, every fan base is trying to be putting that, oh, they supported Kelly Ray to win. Oh, I did not really vote for my fave. I voted for Kelly Ray to win. You know, we saved our money for our fave to win to come out and we give the person you know so that's why the double k fan base said the nelita fans should not do that if others are trying to do that nelita fans should not do that because we know during the finale they were all forming six months with the other ladies in the house which is true i've been saying it it is true they are all forming closeness with each other meanwhile talking about the winner kelly ray guys i know you know kelly ray actually had his first twitter space hey wahala he had his first Twitter space. Let me read this from um, Swedish Love. 5.4k listeners, bro. Let me hear you people say nonsense about his win again. Meanwhile, let me clear you. Swedish Love is actually in Elita and the Aces fans. Like I told you guys, Kelly Ray wins has opened eyes for everybody to see that Omo, he choke over the side. Now, you see that 5 points, whatever K you heard that joined, that was Bailey. 30 minutes he opened that space. Guys everywhere choke. Come and see number of people. I actually did share a bit of that space with you guys because um he was actually having network issues. Like he was really fluctuating. His voice wouldn't hear him and all of that. So people did not really get to talk to him for a long while. He had to leave that space. Of course, he's actually addressed it later. We're going to see it here too. But before then, the hype on Kelly Ray was mad on the social streets. Kelly Ray's space has the highest number this season. I am listening to the recording now and man is love's love. It is massive. It's really a no-brainer why he won our winner. See Kelly Ray pulling 5k plus people on his space without help from resident space hosts. Our neighbors can't relate. They had to do attach with comrade Kelly Ray winner for a reason. Now, if they are talking that 5k, my it busts my head. These are for people who actually reacted when the show the was called the space just opened. Kelly Ray pulled out 90k plus guys. 90k plus listeners just for that short space. I'm like, what the heck? Like, yo, guys, 
Forget it. Kelly Ray just packed it this season. It is just a season. God has ordained it. No cap. Like 90k plus persons. And they do para. Say, oh, the space did not really hold again. Oh, we not get stuck. Guys, men mount. They wanted to talk to Kelly Ray. Everybody wanted to speak with him. But network had their own to do, you know. So they actually pleading, oh, we need to reschedule, reschedule for the space. We need to talk to you, our very own winner. And you know the thing about this thing is, it pays to be nice. Kelly, Kelly Ray is a sweet guy. Even when you want to try not to like him, you don't have any reason not to like him. I'm telling you. You will not say he did this to this person in the show. That's why I did not like him. You will not say he did this to that. Like, you don't have anything to hold on to Kelly Ray and said, I don't like this dude. Though, so many people will still do because some people, they walk with hatred in their hearts and it's normal for them. So yeah guys, the social space went agog with the number of people Kelly Ray pulled out for the space. So he addressed the public as he says, Hey fam, I am truly sorry about the ne network issues during the uh, space earlier. I know many of you we are looking forward to it and I appreciate your patience. I'll be rescheduling the space so we can connect properly. Thanks for understanding and I will keep you updated on the new time. You know, people went to the comment section. They started flooding him, hyping him. Oh, do goodies. This one, that. Do not worry. We want a reschedule. We want this. I'm like, I was just smiling, guys. I was really just smiling. So, or Murphy says, we will wait for another date. Our husband, Kelly Ray. Imagine the number that joined. 90.5K. Guys, imagine that. Imagine that. Like, a choke. <laughs> Everyone was really talking about the number of persons who actually pulled in to listen to the winner. This is the same person whom you guys said does not have any show. He was boring. How come do everybody want to listen to a boring person like this? Even your faves who were not boring, as you guys call it, did not even pull close to this number of crowd that would want to listen to them. Are you guys really joking? <laughs> Let me read this one from Judith and call it a wrap. Kalire should reschedule the space. His page is where the aura is. We are patient. And when he has a stable network, he can pick a date. And we will reassemble just my two cents. Guys, what is meant to be is just meant to be. There is nothing anyone will do about it. And that's on period. I'm going to be dropping my voice right here now to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.